hello friends welcome to another video on my youtube channel and in this video you will learn how to connect facebook messenger and chat gpt using open ai apis so let's get started before we move forward into the development section you must have few things ready first you need account with replit cause whatever code i am going to write will be on replit and in a way on replit we can write code develop the server test it and deploy it you must have account with uh, facebook developers and you must have you know your business account verified otherwise you will not able to create application on meta or uh, developers.facebook.com then you must have account with uh, obviously once you have account with uh, uh, facebook you can access your messenger next you must have account with open ai and when you log in into open ai if you go to this profile section you will see view api keys here you can create new api key by clicking on this button and copy that we will need it and in the end the code i'm going to use here in this video is available on my github repository and the link to get the code is in the description of this video in case you use the code i have written please consider giving a star to my repository it helps the first thing we will do is that we will create our application so i am on my developers.facebook.com and i have logged in into it now if i go to my apps section i'll see all the apps that i have i will create another app just for demonstration so when you click on create app it will ask will choose other because we want to build something and i'll click on next here i'll choose uh, app type is business and i'll say next here i'll say let's say you tube demo app uh, no business manager account selected i need to select my business manager account and as i said earlier you must have a business manager account in order to create new application on facebook developers and i'll create the app it will ask me for the password i'll provide that here i will connect facebook messenger to the newly created app i'll click on setup the first thing you need to do is attach a page to this newly created application cause we want to connect messenger so that's why i'll click on add or remove page i'll continue as me i'll opt in current page and i'll choose um uh, client demo page this is my page in case you don't have a facebook page then you first create that so i'll click on continue i'll click on save now my page is connected to this uh, developer application now i can generate token i can do other stuff as well so this is the first step to get started with the connection now we will move forward to the code section here i will go to replit and i'll click on create replit i will choose uh, node js as my environment and here i'll say let's say uh, open ai fb messenger and i'll create replit uh, the use of replit here is to create the backend and develop it test it and you know deploy it as well so i have already written the code i'll explain one by one when we uh, copy paste the code into replit so this is a simple uh, node.js express application here we create the express web application we will provide some settings uh, there will be two route home route and facebook route and we will start the application on the port number 
so this home route is just a sanity check that our application is working and facebook route is where uh, our application will receive uh, messenger requests okay next i'll create a folder let's say helper and inside that i'll create another file and let me copy the file name as well so here file name will be uh, messenger api.js here i'll write uh, facebook messenger api call to send a message on uh, messenger so i'll copy the code i'll paste it here uh, this is a simple function uh, we call uh, facebook graph api and there is api to send message on facebook messenger we use that we provide some credentials and uh, this function will then send message to facebook messenger so let me save this as well now uh, i'll create open ai function so that is open ai api dot js so let me create another file uh, open ai api dot js and here i'll paste the code so this is a chat completion function uh, which uses open ai chat completion api and it uses gpt 3.5 turbo and this is the format for the request it receives a message and uh, you can have uh, multiple uh, objects here uh, where you can you know uh, provide more information about the assistant and we wait for the response and we return the response back now uh, let me create another function uh, sorry another folder routes and inside we will provide our two routes so let me copy the name of this route here as well so first i'll create another function oh, sorry folder routes and inside that i'll create one more file fb uh, webhook route dot js uh, let me copy the content uh, from this so this is a uh, fb webhook route so whenever someone sends a message here that message will come here we will uh, first get the message and sender id and based on uh, query we will go to chat completion we'll provide the query we'll get the response and using the sender id we will send uh, response back to the sender id using facebook messenger api the function we just created uh, let me create one more file here that will be home route.js you can see that i'm using exact names because in the index.js i have used that so in case you change name of any of the file we have created make sure you use the correct file name and in home route we will just use a simple sanity check that our application is working let me save this now in the cell i will use npm install uh, i'll say express i'll say open ai uh, I'll say dot env to read the environment files and let me use flag save as well here I think these are the packages I'm using also okay I forgot axios I'll install that once uh, this finishes npm install axios hyphen hyphen save now let's try to run the application yeah so the application is running and we can see i have got okay response if i go to this home route you can see that i have sent 200 that means okay response now 
since our application is working correctly let's create environment variables so that we can read them we have uh, three four environment variables uh, first uh, here in uh, messenger api we have a token and page id so token will be if you go to your developer facebook.com here when you have connected the page you can see a button generate token i'll click on that it will create a token uh, make sure you don't share this with anybody you don't trust because this is sensitive information i'll copy that and i'll provide that here next we need page id so i'll copy that i'll provide it and the page id will be the page id of the page you have connected uh, with the app so i'll click on it it will copy that i'll provide it here as well next in the open ai api we have uh, open ai api key so i'll create that as well and i'll provide my key in a bit next uh, here in the fb route uh, the way this uh, application work is that when we provide the webhook it will verify the webhook first so in order to verify we need to provide a verify token as well and that can be any string so i'll say a b c d e f g h 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 this can be any string now if i come here you will see add webhook url so i'll click on that now uh, yeah we have this uh, let me call web view so this is our webhook url i'll copy that and i'll paste it here so that we can get the actual url i'll copy that i'll provide it here followed by facebook path and our verify token will be a b c d e f g h one two three four five six seven eight i click on verify and save oh uh there was something wrong okay yeah uh, the reason is that i need to first stop it and rerun it because we have added uh, secret after we ran the application so it did not consider that and i'll click on run again and let it run now if i come here and if i click on verify hopefully it will verify this time now once the webhook is verified uh, there will be field uh, that you want to associate it with the webhook so i'll click on add subscription and i'll select message and messaging post back and i'll save this now uh, meanwhile let me uh, provide my open ai api key so i'll cut the video for a bit now i have provided my uh, open ai api key and we can see that our webhook is connected as well and verified so i'll go to messenger here on facebook messenger i will select the page uh, which is connected to this uh, facebook application and when i say hi here this high will come to our webhook our webhook will process that and it will send response back but we are seeing some error here so let me just make sure that it works completely and resume the video again so let me see here in the console okay let's uh, go to facebook route and let me okay console log the query first console log query and uh, console dot log uh, sender id first yeah so i think there was some issue earlier but now it is working 
so when i say uh, write me a poem so this message will go to our uh, webhook our webhook will go to open ai api generate the response and with the help of this send message function it will send back message to the uh, uh, to the person uh, to the uh, messenger account from which the message was originated so i hope this is working fine correctly but i am not sure why i it has sent uh, the message twice let me um, try something else uh, let's say what is sos so again that will come here and that will provide the answer but i'm not sure somehow there is some mistake here uh, why it is sending the message twice but uh, okay let me look into that uh, i think there is some oh yeah 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 i i think uh this page is connected to two application on my uh, facebook developer because i have two application uh let me delete this yeah if i go to my apps again i'll hopefully see only one app and this is youtube demo app if i come here and if i say hi again hopefully i'll see one message now yeah so that was the problem and that's why it was sending two messages so uh yeah apart from that i hope uh, you have now understood how to connect your uh, facebook messenger on your business page with open ai and i hope uh, this is helpful to you if you have gained some knowledge from this video please consider you know uh, subscribing to my channel that helps thank you for watching peace